two. And then the 2004 Olympic champion and the winner of the sprint double of the 2005 World Championships in Helsinki, that's Justin Gatlin. Now 30 years old and looking to be as though he's right back to his best. He really is. He's looked absolutely superb. He's been introduced to the crowd right now and going through those little rituals. I think he's ready. He's definitely ready for this. And Dwayne Chambers, there you are. Utter concentration. I would never want to race against Dwayne because to me, he always looks ready. He always looks mean. He's got some kind of mean streak about him. It's great to see. Nesta Carter all to get a more laid back than Chambers alongside him. The 26 year old Jamaican, semi final winner here. Certainly a potential medalist, as is Trell Kimmons. Not as fast. Who has the fastest time in the world this year, along with Justin Gatlin, who ran 6.47 at the US <coughs> Indoor Championships. Kimmons ahead of him, 6.47. Come on, Dwayne. Morocco's Aziz Ariadi in lane seven and out in lane eight three times in the World 100 Meters Finals for Trinidad and Tobago. That's Mark Burns and three World Relay silver medals as well and seven in the Olympic Games in Beijing. So we are now ready to go. Who's going to maintain their concentration? Who is going to take gold? Chambers, a model of concentration in lane four. Gatlin alongside him. The powerful American. The Chambers left. And on his right, the Jamaican, Nesta Carter. Good start from Gatlin, Chambers dwells a little bit, Carter's up there as well, here comes Gatlin, hits the front, Gatlin wins it from Carter, it may have been that Chambers gets third, it was close on the line, but Gatlin wins it, takes the gold medal, and a time of 6.46, terrific performance, Chambers gave it everything, but he hadn't got enough, didn't get the best of starts, Gatlin really did, was powerful, and